फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार क्वालिटी ऑफ एजुकेशन इन एनी कंट्री और ग्लोबली हैज़ बीन ए कंसर्न ऑफ द ह्यूमन सिविलाइजेशन आज ए पार्ट ऑफ मेजरिंग क्वालिटी एजुकेशन पैरामीटर्स ग्लोबली द यूनेस्को हैज़ डेवलप्ड ए जनरल क्वालिटी एनालिसिस फ्रेमवर्क पॉपुलरली नोन आज जी क्यू एफ दिस फ्रेमवर्क वॉज डेवलप्ड बाय यूनेस्को टू एसेस एजुकेशन क्वालिटी पैरामीटर्स ऑफ मेम्बर स्टेट्स एंड इंडिया वाइल लुकिंग एट द फ्रेमवर्क वॉज कीन टू एम्प्लॉय इट एक्रॉस द स्टेट्स बट द मेन कंसर्न ऑफ एम्प्लॉइंग दिस पर्टिकुलर फ्रेमवर्क was why quality analysis of education systems all of us we know that in india we have a huge education system in place we have nearly 1.5 million schools across country and nearly 8.5 million teachers in the country in school education sector uh, but the concern is the infrastructure are in place over the years but are the level of learning matching with whatever has happened is the quality of education and effectiveness there in the system so therefore there was a need for us also to have a swot analysis to know strength weakness opportunities and threat in the education system to start with when we interacted with the unesco so it was decided to pilot the gqf tools in two states of india so strategically we decided to select madhya pradesh which is one of the biggest state in central india and meghalaya which is also a state in northeastern part of india and if we consider the cultural base of these two states are quite distinct because in one state uh, we have matrilineal kind of society in other state a patriarchal society and uh, also strategically we thought of ncert was having two regional institutes of education one at bhopal in madhya pradesh and another at silong in meghalaya so since these two institutes as part of ncert constituents are there so we thought of to implement this tool in these two states so that we take further course of action to analyze the system of education in these two states as all of us we know that unesco has developed 15 quality tools to assess any education system it starts from relevance and responsiveness and it's aimed at use of ict in education system so if these 15 tools are in place so we thought of to employ these tools uh, to assess the education quality in both these states so as a part of this initiative initial orientation of both the state core team members were done at new delhi and uh, with active involvement of iv unesco geneva switzerland and uh, subsequently both the states had workshops at state level with different stakeholders involving resource person and educational functionaries uh, working at a district level and state level not only only in education sector but also in other related sectors to education like if we talk about preschool education in anganwadis in india those are in social welfare department or it is under women and child welfare department so in that case the stakeholders from ministry of health from ministry of uh, women and child development from education social sector so um, even from state level various organizations were involved in the process india is a multilingual country 
more than 5 language families and more than 1562 languages are spoken in India. So, Hindi is an official language of our country. So, that is why we thought of translating the GQF, all the 15 tools into Hindi, which is they are already uploaded on UNESCO website and NCRT website for all the states to use it further for analysis of the education system and take responsive and relevant actions to particularly enhance quality education in different states. And as a part of this deliberation, both the states, they came out with some analysis of the education system in both the states and uh, they had two, three different kind of analysis while doing this particular exercise. One is uh, what are the policy level directions or scheme and program level directions and what is the field reality and what are the gaps and uh, based on the gaps what are the priority actions in case of these two states. So, when the this um, particular event culminated in New Delhi in the form of one another workshop. So, then uh, it was thought of that the both the states they have identified four priority actions. The first priority action talks about curriculum development in school education sector and training and retraining of all the stakeholders for successful implementation of the curriculum. And the second one was identified as continuous and comprehensive evaluation in the system as a part of ensuring that expected level of learning outcome is achieved. And the third one was the national concerns like peace oriented values adolescence education, guidance and counselling, even substance abuse in case of Meghalaya. And the fourth priority action was decided by both the states as ICT integration in the system. Therefore, based on these four priority actions, these issues were taken up further with UNESCO. And UNESCO promptly agreed to further collaborate to select the priority actions and go back to the states, discuss the modalities and the interventions required for specific states and come out with concrete suggestion. But as a part of capacity building and hand holding in ICT in education, the UNESCO in collaboration with NCRT at the national level in India has started organizing one international ICT forum uh, so that all the stakeholders in these two states, uh, particularly Meghalaya and Madhya Pradesh and other states in India, they take benefit out of the ICT initiatives taken up globally and share the ICT initiatives taken up in India at national level and uh, at uh, local level, particularly state level. So, that is why this uh, priority action ICT integration in education system was taken at the first instance. Now, it has been understood that UNESCO has further ensured to make the GQF tools available on web for all countries, member countries, so that member countries can use all these tools to analyze the educational issues and the problems and the challenges in the education system and address those issues in time bound manner. As an user of uh, GQF tools, I feel uh, these evaluation tools will help any member countries of UNESCO to evaluate its education system in better manner and uh, look back to the system and uh, also analyze the gaps and uh, obstacles and take uh, adequate action uh, to achieve quality education in a time bound manner. And uh, no doubt, we will definitely achieve the 2030 sustainable development goals in a time bound manner. Thank you very much and uh, 
all the best for the GQF implementation in all the UNESCO member countries. Namaskar.